Okay, let's see. Begin from this line. After d6, bishop b5 check. Okay, here, uh, three options for black is bishop d7, knight c6, and knight d7 also. But uh, bishop d7, uh, uh, you will see too much, of course. It's the main line. And uh, of course, knight d7 is the best. But okay, let's see, uh, see some. Uh, move here okay after bishop d bishop d7 bishop takes d7 queen takes d7 and here uh, castle okay just here uh, the main idea for the white uh, is simply just you, you have to uh, take it center okay like uh, this one uh, the plan is c3 and d4 and somewhere uh, rook uh, will go to e1 okay after the uh, exchange the pawn on the center okay so you have uh, two good pawn in the center and okay you will develop your pieces like knight c3 bishop g5 or something else i will show you okay here after knight f6 okay knight f6 or knight c6 doesn't matter it will be same of course after knight f6 rook e1 here and knight c6 okay then c3 uh, and uh, just remember uh, uh, one important thing that uh, here c3 is not good because after c3 he will play knight f6 uh, so here after knight f6 okay i have some problem with this pawn so i must play uh, castle uh, so after knight f6 i have to, i have to play rook e1 here and after knight c6 okay c3 and here uh, here is uh, so important moment uh, because uh, he has uh, three option here e6 e5 and g6 okay for example uh, let's go and see this big uh, move uh, okay, uh, this is not best idea for black because okay after d4 uh, But here after e5 uh, first I have to say that okay d5 will be so weak and it's very good outpost for me uh, So I have uh, to play somehow uh, put my knight uh, to d5. Okay, maybe from a3 um, And the c4 and then e3 and then go to uh, d5 is the best idea for the white but also it's possible after d4 i can play knight d2 to c4 and to f1 and then go to e3 and d d5 but uh, maybe uh, sometimes okay after uh, for example after d4 bishop e7 here after uh, knight d2 maybe he can play some uh, some uh, somewhere b5 uh, so knight a3 uh, always is better than knight d2 i think okay here bishop g5 i will take this knight okay and uh, uh i will save this uh, bad bishop for you okay i will exchange uh the bishop with this knight okay and then i will put my knight on d5 so it will be good knight against uh bad bishop of course but after bishop g5 okay here two possible uh two possibility for uh, for black uh, one of them is uh, of course queen c7 and uh, one of them is castle but uh, castle is not good move and because uh, he will lose uh, lose uh, the pawn here after bishop takes f6 and then d c5 is pin of course uh, and i will uh, get something here or for example if you play like this i can change everything here and then okay maybe knight a3 okay somehow i can play rook d1 after rook d8 also uh, this plan is good okay i, I have to active my king in the end game and one pawn up and then rook d1 i will change the rook okay and then knight c4 knight d3 uh, knight e3 and knight d5 maybe or also instead of king f1 here or uh, knight c4 uh, also is possible after this i will play like this okay i will put my knight and then i will doubling my rook on d5 okay it, it will be uh, winning for white of course so here he has to play instead of castle he has to play uh, queen c7 okay here after queen c7 okay first i need uh, maybe take on uh, dc5 dc5 and then knight c3 knight a3 sorry after castle okay of course i will play knight c4 after rook d1 uh, rook d8 maybe queen c2 or maybe queen e2 okay then i will take it of course and then okay knight e3 and knight c4 i want this outpost of course okay somehow uh, maybe it uh, the main idea is changing this uh, exchanges uh, knights and then uh, this one will go to d5 okay so it will be good knight against uh, bad bishop of course but here also some other possibility for black i mean here after bishop g5 okay uh, queen c7 and uh, 
instead of queen c7 yes he can also take on d4 take and here take take everything okay but also it's not good position uh, for uh, for black because okay here maybe somehow i can take somewhere maybe maybe after queen d2 i can take on uh, f6 and then okay play knight d5 i will put my knight on d5 of, of course and also in this position d6 is too weak for example if you play rook e8 maybe rook here and somewhere e5 somewhere uh okay you have a problem with rook d8 because a7 pawn is hanging so yeah he, you you have to play a6 here or maybe queen d2 somewhere yes after a6 maybe take take and knight d5 okay everything is coming knight b6 knight takes f6 and okay after this maybe just simply you can uh yes maybe you can play f3 queen uh, go somewhere and then uh, doubling my rook okay d6 pawn is too weak this bishop is not okay and okay all my pieces in the game and i will uh, i think uh, it will be very good position for white of course so here uh totally it's a uh, very nice position for white and here after d4 yes we saw it okay so, so let's uh, see after c3 let's see g6 and uh, after g6 here of course uh, I, I i have to play d4 yes take take and then bishop g7 and after bishop g7 i think uh, the good idea is that knight will go to c3 just develop my pieces bishop will go to g5 but here uh, instead of uh, bishop g7 d5 also is possible okay after d5 maybe here very strong move is that knight c3 okay uh, I, this is a uh, just uh, some tricky move because after take i don't want take back i will play knight e5 and after take i will take after queen takes d1 take and knight g4 okay somehow i can play knight b5 here and uh, knight c7 is coming somewhere okay of course you can analyze it uh, he have to play like this okay here here and maybe i don't know bishop f4 somewhere I can play rook c1 and okay uh, two against uh, one here in queen side okay somewhere I can make a passive pawn here and get some advantage here okay and uh, but let's go to the main line here bishop g7 of course yes bishop g7 he played uh, he has to play and after knight c3 castle bishop g5 okay it's very important game that he has uh, some option rook e8 rook d8 rook c uh, rook a c8 or uh, rook a d8 uh, also but here uh, i think that everything is okay for uh, white for example if rook e8 he played i will uh, he play i will play queen d2 okay the main idea is queen on d2 rook will uh, come to d1 okay i have to uh, to center pawn so i need put my rooks uh, behind that uh, okay, uh, and the main idea is after rook d1, for example, if rook d8, rook d1, okay, somewhere a6 or something, it, the main idea is this one. I will transfer my queen to h4, okay, and attacking uh, somehow on king. So here, for example, if queen f4, okay, queen will go to h4 and then somewhere maybe e5 um, as a tactical idea. And then, uh, of course, I can play queen h4, for example, if like this, okay, bishop a6, knight g5 maybe somewhere and okay i will after play e5 i will play for h7 pawn somehow it's very good attack on uh i think and um and king side i mean uh yes it will be very good position uh so here uh okay after bishop g5 e5 also it will be uh it will be same because maybe somewhere i can take it yes if you take i will take knight take okay maybe here I, I'm not sure here or maybe knight d5 uh, first yes you have to play bishop g5 and okay maybe take take and also it's good position for white because knight on d5 is so strong and this bishop will not work but uh, okay sorry here is a mistake because I can take I think he, he has to play uh, yes with the, uh, he has to uh, take with knight because after the d5 uh, knight f6 is coming yes knight f6 is coming and it's blunder okay so here if knight e5 anyway is okay because i will take take okay maybe queen b3 somewhere rook d1 doubling my rook on d5 and okay d6 maybe somewhere maybe f4 i'm not sure or maybe uh, at least i can play on c file also 
yeah, I mean rook c1, rook c2, and then rook c1 somewhere, g3, king, g2, f4, h4 or h5 is coming. Oh, okay, many things is uh, coming here for white, and okay, of course, it's better for white. Okay, let's see the another move here, and then another move is okay, uh, but uh, just remember that uh, after bishop g5 uh, here. Okay, if you played h6 or something else, you can play bishop g3. And then g5 if you play, okay, bishop g3. And after this, maybe somehow I can play, uh, okay, I can play here uh, like e5, queen, e, uh, queen d3 or something else. And also maybe d5 here. Yes, d5 is also good because he cannot play knight e5, knight x e5 is coming and this, this discover attack to h5. Yes. But uh, okay, uh, if you play knight takes g3, I will play takes first with the temp, and okay, I will play hg3 one piece up for me. And so here he has to play okay, knight goes somewhere, I think. I'm not sure about that. Maybe b4, yes, and then he won't go to a6 and c5. And in this position, uh, any possibility here, maybe one of them is knight e5, I'm not sure, or maybe knight d4 also. But okay, maybe first a3, yes, after that knight e5 is coming. Okay, take, 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 and take this one. Okay, after here, okay, maybe e5, maybe e5. I'm not sure about that. Okay, somehow I can play like this, but it's, it will be, it will be uh, slow. Okay, maybe e5 is good. Yes, if you take, take, okay, and I will play on e7 pawn somewhere. I can play knight d3 and g4, okay, make some outpost here for my knight and okay i will uh it's it's very dangerous attack uh on the king side also because i can play knight e4 knight x g5 also is coming yes it's very good position for white of course uh so here uh, let's go back here the important moment is there uh was here okay e5 and g6 uh we saw uh this moves here and so here at the and I will check this one. After e6, okay, of course, I have to play d4. The main idea is just control the center in this variation, just simply develop your pieces. Okay, he has to take, take, and then d5 here is the main line. Okay, after bishop e7, it's nothing for black. So uh, it will be same. Maybe queen d2, maybe rook d1, and of course, it's a uh, better position for white, more space, and um, the all pieces is active, okay, and the it's very passive position for black of course uh, but here uh, the best move is d5 here okay uh, black uh, has to play on center and okay uh, he, ha he has to play uh, brook uh, he has to brook the uh, my center okay so here e5 i will get some more space in the uh, center and the king side okay and after knight e4 okay here somehow i, I have to play queen d3 but after queen d3, maybe uh, knight b4 uh, coming. So here, a3, prophylactic move. Okay, after bishop e7, okay, queen d3. And here, two possibilities. One of them is castle and one of them is g5. Okay, g5 is not good, but uh, okay, it's just tricky move because after knight d2, g4 is coming. So here, uh, you have some problem uh, in this position. Uh, uh, yes, after I mean after g4 if you you have to play knight e4 take take and take on g take on f3 Yeah, it will be losing position for white. So here after g5 just remember that you have to play knight d2 Okay, if you if take I will take okay now you have to play b castle So here knight c3 knight a4 rook c1 b5 knight c5 everything is possible here and okay black uh, Can't do anything here. Uh, I think it's very uh, slow and he, he has not um, any pieces here, so nothing in king side for black. And okay, then I will uh, attack here, very dangerous. And okay, I, I will, I think it's very good position for white. Uh, so here, instead of g5, okay, castle is the main line. Okay, I have to, ch to exchange this knight, this strong knight. Okay, knight d2, take, take. And here, uh, some possibility for uh, the black pieces that Okay, maybe f6 one of them, rook fc8 and rook a c8, and sometimes a6 also you will see. Okay, usually black like uh, black play like this. Okay, but you will uh, see uh, this one too much, I think. Rook a c8 and then rook c7, rook c8. 
yes it will be uh, uh, the main line here but here okay of course after bishop takes d2 okay here after rook c8 rook e3 is coming okay in this position okay um, uh, let's see uh, 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 what is the uh, idea here okay but uh, first we will uh, we will analyze uh, the, uh, the position okay here of course my bishop is too bad because uh, the pawn is center is the same color with this bishop and uh, okay uh, good bishop for black here also good knight okay uh, attack on d4 and uh, this knight always uh, is a defender so here uh, okay and about pawn structure uh, is it uh, very good for black and okay it's not uh, very well for white so here uh, i have to attack on king when i have bad when i have a bad position i i, I must do something you know i must uh, attack uh, on king and uh, okay sacrifice or something like that make more space and okay i have to make some chances for uh, by myself so here okay i want to attack on this king so here rook e3 is good uh, h4 also somewhere is possible but okay after uh, h4 h5 h6 uh, some chances here but here after rook a c8 uh, here uh, rook e3 is is the best of course is the best because uh, after rook e3 uh, after rook e3 uh, he has to play for example if rook c7 okay then knight will go to e1 and then here uh, i will transfer my rook on the king side for example if you play rook c8 i will play uh, rook h3 okay g6 and a6 is possible but uh, g h6 is a blunder because i will take 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 and queen h7 uh, queen h7 and queen h8 is coming so here f5 okay just simply queen g uh, g3 take check and it's mate of course uh, but here after g6 okay i will go back to f3 i will i want to active my knight somehow knight g5 here and here uh, if you play something like this a6 or it doesn't matter if bishop f8 is coming knight go to g g5 after h5 i will take this one and the trade is rook h8 queen h3 queen h7 mate if you take i will play queen h7 of course so here the only move is h6 okay after h6 i, I made some weakness so i will go back and okay now uh it's uh the idea is uh, the trade is bishop takes h6 so if, if play king h7 i will take take and then queen d2 or e3 doesn't matter and it's mate but here he has to play h5 and here uh, uh some moves well, as in, uh, are interesting okay king h1 and the idea rook g1 and g4 also is possible and then another one is knight g5 f3 g4 maybe but i think king h1 is best king h1 rook g1 and the g4 okay i can uh make some good attack on the king on the king side here and uh, okay of course it will be uh, it will be very good position for white uh, so here uh, let's go back here and the idea is that just the trade is knight g5 for example if you played a6 here i will play knight g5 okay rook takes uh, or knight takes a7 is coming okay if we take i will take here and here the idea is rook takes h7 for example okay uh, if he plays something I will, I will take on this check and then bishop f6 is uh, force mate of course but here he can play knight e7 knight e7 is funny move because after knight e7 okay here i cannot take because after take take uh, queen h3 king g8 bishop f6 rook c1 rook c1 mate is coming so here uh, i have a very good prof uh, prophylactic move g4 is so strong okay i i, prof uh, I uh, protect uh, knight f5 and then i, I uh, make some uh, space for my king and also g3 is not good because i will not play queen h3 anymore yeah, after anymore after uh, rook takes h7 i mean so here g4 is so strong after queen b5 i think queen f3 is coming so here rook takes h7 it, it will be made for example if queen takes b2 i'm not sure but uh, maybe here rook h7 is is okay yes if if you take i will play queen uh, king g2 yes i i think i think it will be it will be made okay and after that this will will be made 
Uh, okay, also rook f1 is possible here, but I think rook, H, rook takes h7 is winning because after take, take, knight f5, also I can take on this. Yes, it, it should be, it should be winning, I think. Or maybe here first I can play bishop takes, bishop f6 here. If you take, I will play queen h3 and here g5. Yes, it should be mate. It should be mate, I think. Yes, okay. Uh, and here, uh, the other possibility for the black is rook fc8. Okay, after rook fc8, now after rook e3, it's possible to play rook f3, but somehow after knight e1, for example, if rook c7 here, bishop g5 is coming. But also it's playable for, black, for white. After this one, check. Yes, here, uh, check, here, check. Uh, sorry, take on g7 and okay, the the trade is queen f6 and rook h8 mate of course, but okay, here rook f8 is the only one, then knight go to f3. Okay, somehow maybe it's playable for for white because uh, I can push this pawn and okay, uh, you have some problem with this king, you have to play uh, bishop f5, I think engine says that it's near to equal, near to equal, but here I think after after rook fc8, yes, after rook uh, fc8, I think the most important move is h4 here. Uh, okay, why h4? I want just uh, simply want to play like this. For example, if you play rook c7, I will play like this. Okay, here two options, rook c8 and h6. But here, I think uh, after h6, okay, uh, for sure here is very good idea for white pieces. You can pause the video and think about that. It's funny position so here very good attack uh, on the king uh, for white so here just just uh, king h1 maybe and then rook g1 g4 and g5 is so strong so strong for white i think yeah and it it will be very hard to defend uh, with black pieces in the game it's really really hard but just you have to analyze you have to analyze with engine uh, and uh, you will see how you will uh, attack on king and you will play in the next moves uh, okay so here after h5 he played rook fc8 okay then h6 is coming after then after the h6 okay if g6 he played i will play bishop g5 okay i have a very good idea i will exchange these bishops okay and so here h6 is so strong in our country this state is a small queen you know it's very strong uh, sometimes if you take on h7 it will be uh, be promoted and uh, okay, it's it's very it's very uh, dangerous pawn and some uh, mate idea also, uh, also is there. So here and uh, uh, here the main idea for uh, white is this one: knight f3, knight h2, knight g4, and then knight will go to f6 somehow. Or maybe also rook e3, rook f3 also is coming. Maybe queen f3 somewhere, queen f6, and always uh, he has to care about the mate. Uh, okay, uh, I think it's very good position and it's very hard to play with black pieces. Okay, just you have to need uh, you need to have uh, to uh, okay uh, think uh, about uh, with uh, black pieces here and you will you will see and you will understand how much it's too hard for the black in this position. Okay, uh, you have to think uh, from uh, black side. I think. And you will know, you will you will understand. It's very hard. So here, the other option is f6 or f5. Okay, f6 or f5 is same because I will take. I will take anyway. Okay, after take, bishop takes f6, and now here, uh, okay, I I can't do anything more in the uh, queen uh, in the king side. So here, I will change my plan. Okay, after e takes f6. Okay, exchange pawn. Uh, okay, so uh, I changed the uh, pawn structure, so new uh, news uh, here, okay, um, e6 is uh, so weak, so I have to play for this, yes, okay, rook e3 is coming here, rook e8 and queen f7 is possible, because after, uh, after queen b f7 is very tricky move, okay, you cannot play knight uh, rook a e1 here, because knight takes d4 is coming, yes, after knight d4, bishop d4, okay, Queen d4, queen takes f2, and uh, this is a very uh, interesting mate here. So uh, here, 
uh, you can just simply you can just simply play bishop c3 first okay uh, protect on d4 and then rook e1 okay for example after rook e8 rook e1 some somewhere you can play g3 knight d2 and f4 okay i need to play f4 and somehow in uh, queen side also i can play b4 b5 okay for example if he played rook here okay maybe uh, b4 is coming and then b4 b5 and the bishop b4 so some problem here okay maybe e6 a6 okay here maybe i know i'm not sure okay maybe queen here king g2 okay he has not uh, he cannot do anything so here knight d2 and then f4 f4 is so important after f4 uh, okay i i will just uh, i'm just uh, make some uh, move to show the white plan okay here after f4 <coughs> i'm sorry after f4 okay knight will go to f uh, for example knight will go to f3 will go back and here if you play king g1 king g2 okay black can't do anything so here you can push you can push here you can push here somewhere i don't know maybe and somehow you can go back on the and play on c5 everything is possible for the white and i think it's very very interesting position for white and it's very good and uh, very hard to play with black pieces 